are. Ooh, we are in Novi. You guys asked for it. We are here. This is the world's largest snowmobile event indoors, obviously. It's a huge place. So much stuff here. We just got here and already the couple of places that we passed has been awesome. It's absurd how it's much so is much going stuff. on. Yeah. It's so loud. Hopefully the audio works out good. We got a nice 509 trailer here. You guys know we're gonna have to check that out. We are big fans of 509. And uh, yeah, there's just so much stuff here. If you pan around, so much stuff. Can't wait to look through it all. We're gonna get some good footage. Apparently they got the brand new snowmobiles here too. So we are really looking forward to that. Want to check out that new Lynx. Been hearing a lot of good things about it, but you know, we want to get our eyes on it just for ourselves to see. Be really awesome if we could test ride it, but obviously that's not going to happen today. But it'll be good about, enough just to sit on it. Yeah. <laughs> the only so, problem is uh, wallets might be hurting. Ooh. I'm hoping I don't find anything that I really like because I don't want to spend more money. That's just not going to happen. It's We're going to find happen. stuff that we want. We're going to get that stuff and you'll be there for it. Let's go check this stuff out. So we just got to the 509 booth and the holy crap. Trailer. There's a crap ton of stuff here. <laughs> There's so much stuff here. Like, it looks so awesome. Just, just check this out. Cam is currently entering to win this one. No, 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 I already won. He, this is the winning one right here. All right, well, sorry, Chris, but you missed Thank out. You. Don't show my info. Dude, your info's so cool. <laughs> it's just my name. <laughs> uh, this thing's pretty cool looking. Dude, that'd be so sick to rip. Although, we don't have anything. This is too much sled for what we ride on. That's a lot of, I mean, you'd be ripping up right into the dirt. Oh, easily. I mean, look at the size of these panels. These things are huge. I mean, look at this. Listen to my finger for reference. Like, that's that's incredible. Yeah, that's like at least twice as much as what we need. Like, and what we have is like that's that's good for our trails, but that's like on the top edge of what you'd want. And this thing's what do you what do you think this is? Like a one fifty five, one sixty five, something like that. One sixty five, yeah. Yeah, this is definitely more for the mountains. Don't have any mountains here in Michigan. But it would be a sick ride out there. And you'd look so cool with this wrap. That just means we'll have to travel more. <laughs> oh no, travel? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna go check out everything else. Man, just walking around here, like you just wanna buy everything. Like, I really like this color combo here, but I just bought that new suit last year, so I feel like I gotta just keep going with that one. Look, you can never have too much snow gear. You're gonna no, have you a can't. new suit for every single time you ride. I know. <laughs> but that's what it's, I mean, shoot, I just need every, like, I like all the color combos. I really haven't found one that I don't like, so the only problem is I just need more money to buy them all. But they look awesome, so. Uh, money's just paper anyway, right? It's just paper. Let's more. do it. Come they on. print it every day. <laughs> All right, this is uh, fly stuff. We always like fly. They always got some good stuff. What's next here? Uh -huh. Oh, we got Caliber right here. Oh, yeah. You guys have seen that from us before. Put that on uh, Jake and Chris's trailer. The little guides that they have here. This stuff works awesome for yeah. guiding the skis in. It's nice, heavy duty. Worked really good all last year, so. Yep, we're gonna put another season on it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. So the CNA skis, they're a little bit tighter just because the loop is so thick on them. Yeah. Uh, but with, they work great with all skis and you can drive with them on. They're warranted up to eight mile an hour. <laughs> nice. Yeah. You can go faster. <laughs> not, uh, not, not extremely recommended, but it works great. How well is the warranty on like a jumping? <laughs> I've done wheelies with them. <laughs> Ooh, all right. Not, not intentionally. Yeah. But this thing's this, the new 850. That thing's got some pep, man. Yeah, they work good. Yeah, I'd love to try one of those out. All 
Alright, this is an awesome product we just saw. We just talked to the guy about it. This is uh, for moving your sleds, obviously. Look at the wheels on these things. Like, you are not going to get stuck rolling over a zip tie in the middle of your garage on this. Like, what we have right now is just like a cheap little caster, you know, that we bought from Harbor Freight or something like that. Thing gets stuck all the time, and then your sled falls off it. It really sucks. So we're really thinking about getting one of these. This is a nice setup here. It's just a big, beefy system. And you got, you can drive with it, too. He set up to, like, 8 mile an hour. Like, that's kind of what they tell you to keep it at. But, I mean, you're just moving around the garage, so that's all you need. But I mean, it would be so nice to have something that you can actually drive and move instead of having to push this big sled. So this is a really awesome product here from Caliber. Go check it out. We need to check out some of these straps too. You can never have enough straps. Especially the retractable ones. Yeah, retractable. And I like these little clips on here. It just makes it so that it easily doesn't fall off. The other thing I'm liking too about this is the whole drive on, drive off system. Yeah. They have curved spots for this outside snowmobile so you're not like wrecking your trailer just in that one corner it's all curved around perfectly yeah the whole board awesome. here is just real beefy it looks nice we need to upgrade ours a little bit <laughs> this is a trailer we need yeah how much for the trailer we'll, we'll take, take it, it. <laughs> All right, so we just found another 509 booth. Yeah, we got a sign that says blowout sale. We got a sign here that says clearance. These are words I like. Let's go check it out. Everything there. That's yeah. beautiful. We always like a good climb product. It's like our backpacks. I like that blue. Yeah, they make some good stuff. And 10% off. I mean, come on, that's pretty good. You gotta love it. Ooh, sleds. Sleds? Ooh. Sleds. We haven't found any yet besides those ones there. We gotta go check them out. Yeah, we only explored about 5% of this place. And just the clothing, which is cool, but we wanna check out, ooh, Skidoo. They probably got some. Look at that. I would hope so. Let's go. All right, now here's some irony. I had to laugh. So we've got 509 product for $509. But here's what? the kicker. It's on an FXR rack. Who is in charge of this stuff? Come on, guys, this is 509's area. Like, what are we doing here? I want that thing half off for false advertising. <laughs> All right, guys, we found, it. we found it. The Lynx is right here, and it looks beautiful. Look at that thing. Oh, goodness. Oh, that's incredible. Oh, look, 3,900 on the back. That's clearly the horsepower. Absolutely. This thing is just insane. You don't even need front skis because it's all day long. So, especially with those panels on the back. Good. Yeah, that is awesome. Now clearly I don't know what that 3900 means, but it's probably something cool. I love the red on here. This thing is just, it looks fast. Everything looks faster in red. Oh, it's just this so thing's good big too. It's like... Everything on there is beefy. Yeah. Like it's designed to hold up to everything. Yeah. I like this like front area too. Looks nice. Don't need a windshield. I'd that like a little bit snow. of one, just like a little bit, but it's got that summit type look, like, you know, with no windshield and everything. But yeah. Oh, Boondocker, dude. Of course it's called the Boondocker. <laughs> that is awesome. So let's see. Let's, can we find out where the, uh, the 3900 comes into play? I'm assuming that's the length. Suspension. 3900 rear suspension. It must be their suspension type. Okay. I don't know. Hey, since we're so clueless on this, if you guys know, like, put it in the comments. Yeah. We're curious. We want to we're know. We're curious. We haven't done a whole lot of research on it. Should I, but, should I get up on top of it? Yes. Boy, that fits you perfectly. Yeah. I think you need to go home with that. You don't even need a seat. Like, there's no point sitting down on this thing. <laughs> Man. Chris, you got to get up on here. That's nice. Up on her, buddy. It's really stiff. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. That is nice. That thing just feels fast, just being on it. That's awesome. Rave. Uh, it's technically called the Rave. That's what they want everybody to call it. Come but on, dude. I guarantee half the snowmobilers that use it are going to call it the Rave. It's the Lynx Rave. <laughs> Hopefully they don't a, get mad at us if they see is this. Is that like a Canadian thing, a Rave? I think so. Uh, it's, what there, is needs it, to be a, there needs to be like an accent mark there if it's a Rave. Right. I can't remember where these are, if they're Switzerland, Sweden. 
I thought it was Canadian, but somewhere, maybe it's somewhere yeah. across the border. Somewhere not American, because because they're just now coming into North America yeah. for sales. Okay, maybe that's what. It was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, this is definitely more of like the trail style compared to that one over there. This is more of a Michigan style sled. Still oh. beefy shocks. Skis aren't nearly as wide as this one, which makes sense. <laughs> you don't need eight-inch wide skis going through trails. No. <laughs> that thing would be sweet though. We're here at the FXR booth. They've got a lot of stuff. I mean, this is almost bigger than the 509 booth. Me, I'm kind of more the FXR guy in the channel. I've got head-to-toe FXR stuff. There's some cool stuff here. Like, I'm loving the sherbet colors, all the bright green. They've even got some good red stuff for Caleb. I know he's a big red guy. Anything uh, bright colors is good. Yeah. And it, it's all good quality stuff. I haven't had a problem with mine since I've had it. So maybe we'll take a look around and see if we can find some more deals tomorrow. Pick up some good stuff. Oh, look like a little baby next to you. Dude. <laughs> I swear I'm not this small. You, you're tiny compared to me. Like I'm so small. This, this is the first time we've been standing next to each other all day. And I, I overpower you. Alright, well... Anyway, we lost Chris. Don't know where he went. We Not went sure. to another 509 section, like the fourth one or something. There's like, something. There's like eight of them in here. There's yeah. so many. So we went into another one, and Chris took a right. We took a left. Not sure where he went. He's he might gone have gotten, forever. He might have gotten kidnapped. You never know in a place like this. Yeah, it, there's so many people here. There's so many aisles here. There's so much for sale, and we lost him. We should probably go find him. Yeah, we're eventually. Gonna, we're going to take a look for them. Um, <laughs> if we can't find them, we're just going to go right for the player snowmobiles. Yeah. We um, still got to do the snowmobiles. We, the Skidoo section, too. We haven't been there yet. Yeah, we saw the links, but that was about it. They still yeah. have a lot of Skidoo snowmobiles. Got to go at. to Polaris, Skidoo. Oh, that's Caleb, not Chris. I thought that was Chris texting uh, us. Anyway, we got to go find him before he gets lost. I'll try and keep up on my little baby right legs. Oh, wow. Oh! I was gonna say that person's coming up really close behind me. I just saw him out of my peripheral vision here. I didn't even know. That. <laughs> uh, I got lost. What are you doing, dude? Did you buy something? Lost stuff. Oh, nice. wow. What'd you What'd get? You get? Oh, it's a surprise. But nobody likes that. Come on. Jake bought something too. I did. Check out my cool backpack. No, I was talking about something else. He bought me. I bought Chris. No, I'm talking about something else. It's a big purchase. I bought Cam. Ah, big. Um, All right, so since Chris isn't going to share what he got with you, I'll just tell you it's a hat of some kind, so it, it's pretty cool. I saw it earlier. Yeah. And since I'm not going to share what I bought with you, I'm just going to tell you it's something big. Yeah. Big We're going to have to do another trip here pretty soon, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Stay tuned. All right, let's go to the Polaris section, and then we'll go to the Skidoo section. Yes, sir. Don't mind me. I'm just playing Pac-Man here in my little joystick. This is pretty fun. I don't know what it's for, but it's pretty cool. Probably to navigate your system here, but this is the bad boy right here. This Polaris Assault. You got the ride command here. This thing looks sick. You gotta come up, check out the front here. This grill section. I really like that. They added that on like all of their sleds here. It just looks really cool. I wish they would have added it up here, but it looks nice. Too expensive. I like this color too. Everything about like, it just looks mean. Yeah, that desert like, tan with the, the horns. Yeah, this, these front fenders here are so aggressive. Like, you almost cut yourself on them. Yeah, like just the front view of it. Yeah. It just looks front like it's ready to destroy everything. Yeah, it looks sick. I really want one of these. Might have to trade in the old backcountry pretty soon and like... Alright. Chris it. needs an upgrade. I need an upgrade. He needs fuel injection. The only problem is... We just don't get enough snow to justify a brand new sled. Like, right. Yeah, you do. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, then you buy one. Yep. No, I want that one, <laughs> that blue one. Yeah, the blue back that country. Back country. We saw it snow motion. That was pretty cool. Snow motion. Check that video out. I'll put that clip right here. Dude, that is so minty. Savannah needs this right here. Oh, she wants I know. It. Okay, but like, also, go watch our video because it was cool. Yeah. You want to check out any of the other, other Polaris's or uh, I, there's a cool generator back there. Yeah, uh, I'm not really in the generator business. You can't ride a generator, dude. Like I'm, cool. I'm liking that Indy. Yeah. Like, dang. We need a two up on that. Please? 
Cool. We gotta go check out that uh, timber sled. That's Ooh, what they're yes. called. Yes, the right timber now. sled. It looks huge in person. I've always seen them like on videos, and they look, look big. It's got heelys. Oh my goodness. What is this, 2012? Oh, nice. But anyway, this timber sled is huge. I would not want to tip it over and then have to like tip it back up. Looks like a giant workout. Let's go check that out. Ooh, here it is. Now, you've seen me on dirt bikes for the last few years. I actually just got rid of mine. But one of the things I've always wanted to do is ride a snow bike. I'm gonna sit on one. This doesn't feel real. Look at the lights. Oh, Paul. Oh, goodness. I mean, as of right now, it just feels like I'm riding a dirt bike. But I've got like eight feet sticking out behind me. <laughs> it's just so much behind. I like it. It's weird not having a front tire to look at. Go with red or go with blue? Yamaha gang all the way. My last one wasn't the greatest, but that was a one in a million. <laughs> uh, how does it feel? I'm liking this Honda, to be honest. The Hondas feel nice. I like the uh, twin pipes out the back. It's I, always a good look. I do like that. You just need some snow, dude. No, just, I mean, you got all your storage up front. You got your tree guards right here, so you're not smacking your gloves on trees. Also, look at how big this ski is, is, dude. It's so wide. But I mean, you only got one of them, so I guess it makes sense. Right. And I love how stable it is. Like, just sitting here on concrete. Yeah. You're not even on any stands. You're just on the skis and that. Right. Pretty good look on you. They've got some storage stuff back there. Some storage? Dude, there's like 18 feet back there. That's <laughs> you have to have a CDL to drive this thing. Ah, crap. <laughs> but no, I, I would for sure... If I had a bunch of money laying around, I'd for sure get one of these things. Yeah. I feel like it would be just, I mean, not just different enough, but like quite a bit different than a snowmobile to justify having both. It'd be fun every now and then. <laughs> All right, let's go check out the skidoos. We found the skidoo place. Oh, this is coming. <laughs> Was the ride. Yeah. really comfortable. Now, is this the one that like flips around? Yes. Ooh, I like again. that. Oh, that's kind of that. cool. That is pretty nice. That would be nice. Chris, how's your ride back here? Great. Comfy. Great. Seat's like a cloud. That is a pretty nice seat there. You got a nice hand guard. Damn, look at this. Heated. Whoa, dude. That is fully customizable. This is like, look, oh, my sled is like old style compared to this. Yeah, dude, they all are. These things are terrible. new, new. So many nice, options. Yeah, it's and... nice seeing all the options. I want them all. Ooh, what do you think about this backcountry, boy? I'm loving this color. That color That's scheme awesome. is so good. You almost feel like higher up on it, like it's easier to just throw around underneath it. Yeah. Yeah, you can just barely see. You got one screen there and one screen there. It's pretty sick. I'm liking that. Yeah. Why is there water all over? Why is it all wet, dude? What'd you do? Dude, I couldn't control myself. Are you serious? I had to go to the bathroom. Are you serious? I had too much water today. I couldn't hold it. Look, you gotta stay hydrated, but control yourself. All right, Chris, let's talk about this other backcountry right this here. This is the one I want? Yeah. I this is the, the one colors. that we showed earlier from Snow Motion. It's that same blue. Beautiful. Such a good color. We gotta show off Jake oh, we gotta show here. off over here. I don't. <laughs> does it feel just like the other backcountry? It does feel similar. This one almost feels like... Oh, I guess it's about the same. The difference on this one is it doesn't have that full screen. Ooh. And it doesn't is... have your little like, control knob we do. Just a small baby screen. Yeah. No connection. She's the base model. She's just the riding model. 
the ride. There ain't nothing wrong with that. No. Just go out and have some fun. Yeah, you can't go wrong with just plain Jane. Nah, Skidoo's where it's at. We like the uh, Polaris with the ride command, but that that's is, later on down the road. It's definitely a nice upgrade having that ride command, but I believe Skidoo is going to be putting their BRP Go on their sleds now soon, Ooh. too. That still doesn't help me, though, because we got to get brand new. You're not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so do you guys remember... Um, crap, I don't even remember what video that would be in. But Caleb and I found, like... 1968-1969 Sea Dew, like the original model. We just found the 1968 Ski Dew. So this is kind of cool. We get to see both machines from the same era that just changed everything. That thing looks brand new right now. Yeah, it's got the same kind of seat that the Sea Dew had, just a piece of plywood with some rubber. Spark plug out into your face. <laughs> if you shoot the spark plug out, you got way too much compression. Look, Jake, you blow up a lot of engines, so this ain't for you. Look, I've blown up a lot of engines, but I haven't shot a spark plug out at the top. Yet. I don't like the way he said yet. <laughs> Did you sabotage my snowmobile? Yes. Man. Also, you should get a setup like this person right here. I would love a setup like that. I'll stay so warm. Alright, that's that for that, for this trip. Man, it was awesome out here. There was, there was so, so cool. much stuff. There was a lot of cool stuff out here. <laughs> I was amazed the like, whole time. I don't think we even saw all of it. It was crazy. Got a couple good deals. Chris bought some stuff. Jake bought some stuff. I'm probably going to buy some stuff tomorrow. We'll be back to just clean up the rest of it tomorrow. Just so want to say thanks to all the fans that came up and said oh, yeah. hi to us and took pictures with us. Yeah, it, it was, was awesome. It was so cool to <laughs> have everyone say hi. Yeah, yep. we enjoy talking to you guys. Yeah. Check it out on Instagram. We put some of those posts up. But that's it for this video. If you guys like the snowmobile stuff, definitely come here next year. It's awesome. It's so much just awesomeness. All the new stuff is out, all the new sleds. It's awesome to just, uh, sit on them and enjoy it. Just a cool environment in general. Just Lots all of people around people. here. Yeah. Tons of friendly people. Tons of people. There was so many people here. It was ridiculous. But yeah, if you guys like it, just uh, hit that subscribe button, thumbs up. Get that merch over there. Jake's got it on. And we'll see you guys next week.